Hey everyone, Patty here, full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark and Macari, better known as Girl Hustle on YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you 30 items that I just picked out from my store just to give you an idea of some of the types of the things that I sell. So the first item was this vintage figurine. This was actually a loss to me, $9.09. .09. I sent her the wrong figurine. I just told her, keep the first item, and I sent the other one again, so I lost the shipping and handling. I lost the original item, and no big deal. My fault, my mistake. Buyer made out. So anyway, the second item is a superhero action figure and this one I sold for $14.99. The third one was this John Force funny car. This one actually sold for $12.49. It was plastic. Tip, if you can find John Force funny cars that are the metal and the die cast, they're very sought after and they sell for very well. This one was plastic. Again, $12.49. The fourth item was this Hess Doom Buggy. This one, I had it in my store a while. It sold for $7.99. The fifth item is two vintage pair of panties. These are modern vintage from the 90s. These ones sold as a set for $27.98. Six, these pastel greeting cards. These came in a bundle these came in, excuse me, these came in a lot of greeting cards. They paid $2 for the lot, and these two cards sold for $5.49. These were vintage cards. Number seven, this Matchbox construction vehicle for $7.99. Number eight, this hunting hat. This came in a lot of all the hats that I got a few videos back, and this one sold for $8.49. This plush, $9.99. Number 10, this Fort Knox, Kentucky plate. This one sold for $14.99. Number 11, these are modern panties, polka dot panties. They sold for $25.98. I sold two pair of them. Number 12, vintage cards. They sold for $5.99. 13, these stockings, they were two different listings, and I sold them for a total of $37.78. Number 14, this Sesame Street book. This one sold for $17.99. The reason um, this item sold, I listed it. If you have things, if you have any books or anything that are in, in series or sets or they're numbered, list them. List them and uh, list the particular number that the book is. This is why I think this one sold for me for the price that it did. But this sold for, again, for $17.99. This wrestling shirt, number 15, this one sold for $36.99. Number 16, this Bandai figurine, this sold for $12.49. Number 17, these knee-high stockings, they sold for $10.99. You could pick, get these very inexpensively in a thrift store. Number 19, this lot of football books. These I got for free, they sold for $24.99. Number 20, this Turbo Plush. Actually, I picked this up at the one thrift store. I get the, the a lot of the plush is only a quarter. So this sold for $19.99. One, this Imagine If game, this sold for $10.99. Number 22, these vintage panties. These are original vintage panties. These sold for $24.99. Number 23, this Survivor game, this sold for $19.99. Number 24, this Arnold Palmer Golf Club. This one sold for $19.99. I 
I also sold another golf club. That one, Tightliest. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But that one sold for $24.49. Number 25. These replacement pads. These sold for $3.49. Take parts out of games that you don't have all the pieces to. You could sell the parts out of them and make some money on them. Number 26. This Hershey, it was kind of like a toy. I don't, I, I don't really, I don't remember what it did, but I think you put the Hershey's Kiss. I think the Hershey's Kisses came out the back. That sold for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Twenty seven. These are modern vintage panties. These ones sold for sixteen ninety nine. What I mean by modern vintage, I mean they're the newer, like twenty years, uh, probably from the nineties. Number twenty eight. This Britney Spears music cd this sold for $19.99 what was interesting about this is i watched one of the craigslist hunters uh videos yesterday i think it was yesterday and he had a, a video something showing a premiere with with britney spears in it and i was watching it and next thing you know i end up getting this sale for $19.99 for this britney spears cd that i was actually going to throw away because i i I'm not into her kind of music, but I ended up listing it and it did sell yesterday for $19.99. And I think she may have been premiering or something, been, something may have been going on that I had gotten that sale. Not sure, but possible. Number 29, this vintage purse. This sold for $29.99. The woman contacted me. She was for she was from out of the country. She asked me if I will uh ship global shipping and of course I did and the item sold I actually had it listed for 31 something and I just marked it down to 29.99 when I updated the listing for her and number 30 these vintage panties they sold for $99.99 the reason they sold the reason these panties sold is I not only because they're satin satin panties do sell very well but these ones were a vintage brand panty and they were playtex hard to find in the vet in this style so marked them up and again they sold for $99.99 I'm going to share a funny story with you before I leave you my worst fear came to be I do sell vintage panties and some of the ones sell very, very, very good for very good money. You can look up the sold listings. They're very hard to find and they go two, three, four hundred dollars. So I've been selling these for years. Anyway, my worst fear I knew eventually would happen. This was a couple months ago. We were at the one thrift store. My son went one way and I was in the panty section. And I try to get through that section as fast as possible because I don't want people to be thinking that I am buying these panties for myself. Anyway, I'm going through the racks real, real, real fast. And what do you know happens? I get this little tap on the shoulder and the lady says to me, honey, I just want you to know that there's new panties in the back, in the packages. And she told me where they were. And she said, she said, I don't want you to get any kind of disease or anything. You know, I, I forget her exact terminology or the exact thing that she said to me, but it was something to that effect. I let out a squeal and a laugh and I'm like I sell these online I said there's a huge market for vintage panties and she was taken aback by this but we both had a good laugh and but my biggest fear over all these years was somebody would think I was buying them for myself and guess what it happened but it was funny anyway I have no problem selling them. When I do sell the vintage panties, they are they are new or new without tags or they are true vintage 
with no marks or any kind of issues with them. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, I thought I'd share this with you and hopefully give you some ideas that don't pass up. You'll never know what's going to sell. List it. Just get it listed and just get your items listed. Don't be afraid to list stuff. Don't be afraid to look at stuff. Don't be afraid to try new things. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Have a great weekend.